Get ready for an adventure to South Florida. Look at him jump in. Yeah. Oh, look at that shark. Shark, 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 shark. Don't fall in, Jerry. Go, go, go. Hand feed sharks. Um, wait, wait, wait. Hand, 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 hand feed, feed sharks. Hand feed sharks. No! At least I'm not dead. Come on, fish. There you go. There you go. Hooked up. There are two things I remember as a kid. The first shot I ever took and the first line I ever cast. I don't remember if I made the shot or if I caught a fish, but what I do remember is right at that moment, I was doing something I do for the rest of my life. Come on, fish. You got, you got, you got it, you got it. Pro basketball is a fast-paced career. After 11 years of playing, I'm now a scout, and things haven't slowed down much for me. This is rough. Join me as I travel across the world and try to balance my love of basketball with my love of fishing. Yeah. This is Denver, and this is the Pepsi Center a building where I spend my day looking for the next big star. It's hectic, fast-paced, challenging, and I love it. It's been a long season, and today I'm finishing up some last-minute emails and phone calls before catching a flight down to South Florida to do a little fishing for a week. I've been looking forward to this for months, so I can't wait to start my adventure in South Florida. What's up, buddy? Yeah, what's going on, buddy? Uh, not a whole lot, man. How's fishing been? been great. Could have some weather moving through. Oh, great. And the wind's going to blow 20 miles an hour. Sounds good. Don't worry about it. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm excited about it, man. Um, Me too. Sounds good, buddy. Look, I'll text you when I get down there, okay? Perfect. I'll be waiting for you. All right, cool. All right, see you, Jared. Bye. Well, I finished all my business and made it to the first stop of my adventure, Marathon, the middle jewel of the Florida Keys. Surrounded by water, Marathon is uber famous for its sport fishing. I mean, you can catch mahi, grouper, snapper, a variety of billfish and tuna. You name it, they got it. And that's precisely why I'm starting here. I've decided to stay at Hawks K Resort this week because at almost seven foot tall, it seems to be one of the few places that has a bed big enough where I can actually get some rest. Did I mention the people here are chill, quirky, and a bit crazy? I call them sunshine hippies. And one of my favorite sunshine hippies, Jared, is Captain Jack Carlson, Marathon's king of fishing. Today's target are blackfin tuna. These hungry little warriors provide the type of action I've been looking for. Well, yesterday, man, the blackfin tuna bite was awesome. Austin and my guys went out there. Uh, we got them on topwater plugs, on the jigs, got them on the troll. Uh, the marathon home's been red hot for them, so I'm excited to get out there and hit them blackfin tuna today. The Jimmy jigs that we have are phenomenal. Drop them down about 60 seconds, bites on. 60 Every seconds? Time. 60 seconds. Oh, God. Look, I'm excited to get after the tuna. But 60 seconds each drop? Come on now. That's a long time to let that lure sink. Think about that. But if Captain Jack says it's with the tuna arm, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, you, you've been there before. I got this. I got this. <laughs> uh, let's do it then. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Captain Jack takes us 20 miles east to a world famous marathon hump, a place where black fins thrive. And today's goal is to catch enough black fin for dinner tonight. We're over the marathon hump. It goes from about 700 feet, so it'll come up to 500 and drop off to 1,000. So you got all that bait just swirling around the surface. That's where the tunas are feeding, and that's why we're here. And Jack recommended that I use a technique called vertical jigging for these black fins, in which you retrieve the lure back in a very erratic, fast motion to the surface. Just drop that down to 100. Get that 100 second count. 100 seconds? Yep, ready, drop. Uh, I don't want to wait this long for my jig to go down that deep. 100 seconds. It's a long way down. But I'll gladly do it for these black and tuna. Yeah. 
Then, I got one. Fish on, and it was all worth it. <laughs> there you go. On the pause. On the Jimmy jig. On the Jimmy jig. Nice. Get <laughs> that pressure on. First drop. First drop. Hooked up. There you go. Come on, fish. There you go. You know you're messing with. You gotta have something to bring to the restaurant tonight. I don't know exactly right. We're counting on you, Jared. Uh oh, there you go, Mike. He's hooked up. Got him all. Triple. Triple header. There you go, crew. You got team. There it is. Everybody on. Everybody's hooked up. This one is a Bonita, Skippy. Skippy. All right. Warm up fish. There we go. Hey, I'll take you. Yeah, man. Fight's a fight. Fight is a fight. Fish is a fish. Yes, it is. It's in the death rattle. He ain't gonna make it. Even after they've been caught, these bad boys keep on fighting. It's shaking for you. I know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but despite how it looks, the shaking is normal. All right, let him go. Yeah, back. yeah, let him go. There you go. All right. We got two more still hooked up. We got mine. You, you got a black fin? All right, all right. Some cleanup time. I know, right? Now, it was time to see if I could get myself a black fin. Just take this, go right up front there by Mike. Yep. Keep right with yep. him. Yep, I got it. Go ahead and get him. Modern Fishing is brought to you by Plano A Series Quick Top Bag. Protect your passion. Fraybill Crankbait Nets. Trusted gear since 1938. Jimmy Jigs, premium saltwater fishing lures, and Plano's Marine Trunks, safely transport and store all of your equipment from land to sea. I got one. <laughs> the fishing out here on the Marathon Hump is incredible and just as advertised. On our very first drop, all three of us hooked up. I have a feeling today is gonna be a good day. There you go, hooked up. And sure enough, on the very next drop, come on, fish. I'm hooked up again. But this time, we attract some attention. Yeah, oh, look at uh. that shark, 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 shark. Don't fall in, Jerry. I won't, buddy, I won't. Fall in. I won't, buddy, I won't fall in. You. Come on, come on over, come on over. Go, go, go. Does the shark have him? Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Oh, there he is, Sam, nice black fin. Got him! Jared, one, shark zero. Shark zero. Yeah, buddy! Nice tuna, man, nice tuna. Lay that on that purple Jimmy Jig. We had the second hook on there for insurance. Awesome. Nice fish. I think, you know what? Our restaurants in town do some hook and cook. Sounds good to me. Fresh tuna, after black fin. After all that work for that fish. Yeah. And the black fins there kept on go. coming. All right. Beautiful. Got that gold streak down there. Oh. There you go. Hooked up. Day. There you go. Good job, man. Pretty work, huh? Pretty, Pretty work. Long. <laughs> We've had a great day. Beautiful weather. We're going to enjoy the Florida Keys and get some water back on shore. <laughs> some red water and some foamy brownish water. So after a great day on the water, we get back into sail range and give Andy Sharp a call and let him know we've caught a bounty for tonight's dinner. Yo, Andy, what's up, buddy? Oh, man, dude, we had a phenomenal day out there fishing. I got my man Jared here. You what's guys, up, buddy? Good, dude. You ready to cook up some tuna tonight? Think you can do that for us? Ah, we're, we're gonna do like 6.30. How's that sound for you? All righty, man, we'll see you there. Thanks, dude. All righty. As night approaches, the reward of today's hard work is finally here. I live in a lot of big cities, a lot of different places, and having a chance to come somewhere like this where you can go out, catch the fish that you want to, and be able to eat it the same day is big time. Exactly, I mean, you definitely can't go shoot a deer and bring it into the restaurant and say, hey, yeah, hey, you, can you cook this? It ain't gonna happen. 
Indiana, maybe. Indiana, but I mean, I just... <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hello, everybody. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming in. Welcome Thank to the Overseas. Awesome, Everything man. Everything is going well. Phenomenal restaurant. All right, all right. Thanks for, uh, thanks for fishing yeah. in our town and leading us on. We, we love you guys catching a lot of fish. It's good for the community. We love to cook your catch. No. We appreciate it. And we got a lot of history here. You're drinking in the building that uh, Al Capone drank in. Wow. That uh, Ernest Hemingway drank in. Wow. And I don't know if anybody knows Mel Fisher there, but he's oh, a yeah. salmon guy. Yeah. Yeah. Found a $600 million boat in the bottom of the ocean. I want half of that. I want half of that. <laughs> degree. Give me half. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks for everything and enjoy. I appreciate anything it, buddy. You need, let me know. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Tim's crew is fixing for my crew. A tuna steak tartare, some tuna sashimi, blackened tuna nachos, and for the entree, tuna three ways, seared, grilled, and blackened. Woo! Look at that. Nice. 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 Fellas, toast. Cheers. Great days, great times, great people. Now it's off to my next adventure. This time, it's with Jack's son, Austin. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head out back on the Gulf side, Gulf of Mexico. I'm gonna go anchor up in about 12 to 14 foot of water. Uh, big grouper, sharks, kudas, big mangroves, a lot of snappers. So there's plenty of action. So we'll see, see what's going on for today. The plan is for Austin to take me 14 miles offshore to an artificial wreck. And although wrecks hold many different species of fish, not all of them are the sport fish you're after. Man, I really love watching the next generation of Sunshine Hippies carrying on the legacies of those before him. And with Austin following his dad's path, one day he may become Marathon's next king of fishing. All right, so we just pulled up to the wreck, um, artificial wreck, bunch of random pieces of steel sitting down there on the bottom. So we're gonna anchor up here, and uh, we're just gonna anchor up just where we're sitting, just in front of it, so all our chum goes right on top of it. All right, buddy, let's anchor up and get it done. I'm definitely an artificial guy. When the captain says, go with live bait, then sometimes I'll go with live bait. Austin was right. Immediately, I was hooked up. Feels like a shark, acts like a shark, but I've been fooled before. I want everybody to know that this is the one that I baited up. Go, yes, no! I'm fishing Gulf side off the coast of the Florida Keys, and I've just hooked into something. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's a ray. What are the odds of that? Although rays are fun to catch, they just weren't on today's menu. You Whenever know, you want to let them go, you just pop it. All right. So a quick pop of the rod, and he's free. And after this sting ray, the fishing became slow. Like fishing in an empty aquarium slow. Mm -hmm. Already got it here, buddy. We gave it hell. Yeah. So after hours of catching nothing but a suntan, I asked first mate Mike what other kind of trouble we can get into back on shore. We got this attraction here in town that just opened up. It's called Keys Encounter Aquarium. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what's cool about that place is uh, they have tanks you can jump into to uh, hand feed sharks. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hand feed, hand, <laughs> hand, 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 hand feed, feed hand feed sharks. Hand feed sharks. Screw. Yep. Like just right. What they do? Nurse is, sharks. Yeah, uh, nurse sharks, uh, lemon sharks, stuff like that. Okay. And uh, you know we can definitely set that up for you. Make a phone call and uh, um, have your own little private uh, tank to jump into and hand feed some sharks. Yeah, I don't need a private one. I'll probably bring somebody else with me in case the sharks get rascally. I'll stab somebody. That'd be smart. Yeah, take somebody out smart. first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we pulled the anchor and headed straight to Aquarium Encounters. We make it to Aquarium Encounters, and to my surprise, they even have a wetsuit to fit me. Kind of. Here we go. Okay. 
You know, after getting down there and immersing myself in marine life, it was actually pretty cool. And come to find out, they got four inches of glass between me and the sharks. So feeding them wasn't actually that bad. Great, man. Yeah, that was amazing. Wow. That was really cool. It was crazy to see the different colors of the fish. and I mean, you never would have thought that the sharks would stop being that close to them. That was big time. The first part of my South Florida adventure was coming to a close. And the next and final leg of my adventure is Miami, where renowned captain Jimmy Wicked is taking me sail fishing. However, I had a prior obligation to a wedding in New York City tonight. So while my crew sets up in Miami, I think I can squeeze a trip to New York before having to be back in Miami on the docks at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Man, it was a crazy idea flying out of Florida to come to this wedding, but it was awesome seeing my New York crew and getting to hang with them at an amazing wedding. Now it's time for me to catch a red eye back to Miami. I haven't slept, my phone's dead, but I have to be on the docks by 7.30. These selfish are calling. This is Captain Jimmy Wicked. Captain Jimmy is one of the best at doing the type of fishing that most anglers find unusual. But, first things first, I have to get to the docks. Yo, 7.30. Just making sure you're, uh, you didn't get taken to jail last night or run over by a bus. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm so sleepy. I'm on long flights. Come on, Jay. Here I am, rushing to the docks. My phone's dead, so I can't get a hold of the crew, and I'm almost there. But I've got to get something to eat. I'm starving. You have Taco Bell, but you don't know where to go. Uh, I don't even eat Taco Bell. <laughs> you made it! <laughs> I figured you were just getting off the plane or something. Maybe flew in a little late or something. At least I'm not dead. <laughs> At least I'm not dead. Sorry, I love you. Keep in. Hey, man. You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I got Taco Bell. Nice. Yeah, Taco That's Bell. Mike. Captain Jimmy takes us up the eastern seaboard of Florida to do a little kite fishing. I was excited to get out with Jimmy and learn this modern fishing technique. It's a bit slower than jigging with artificials, but if the reward is a sailfish, then I'm all in. And after an hour or so of trolling and waiting and more trolling, we finally get bit. Oh, I'm getting eight right now. Jared, you ready? I'm gonna try him. You on? We're on. There he is. Look at him jumping. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him jumping, guys. Yeah. Go, go underneath there, Jared. Go underneath. Yep, go underneath. He's jumping out there. Yeah, you see him out there jumping? He's jumping yeah, out he's of there. Wind fast, right? This selfish is exactly why I rushed back down to Miami. Way to go, Mikey. Now I just need to focus on the fight. And slowly but surely to the front. First fish of the day. This selfish can't get off. white from last night, 
but catching a fish like this was definitely worth it. What? <laughs> nice. Straight from um, a quiet evening out to, to fishing, get your sailfish. All right, all right, get me in there. Mikey, good work, buddy. Sweet, good job, man. Nice. Good job. Awesome. Way to go, crew. We continue to kite fish for the rest of the afternoon with no luck. So we head back to Miami for a good night's sleep, which is something I desperately need. The cool thing about fishing with friends is that each day I have a new crew, which makes every day fresh and exciting. And today's target, swordfish. Which over the many years of fishing Miami, I've only caught one swordfish here. And just when I think I'm gonna have to use live bait, we have a hit on the bait rod. But it isn't bait. Yep, sailfish. <laughs> it's a sailfish. Here I am with a tight line and a light rod, hooked up to what could be the fish of a lifetime. This is worse than double overtime in a championship game. I could lose him any minute. There you go. But as we start to see color, we notice he's foul hooked. So without causing any harm to the fish, we make the call and pop a line. There he went. There he went. Got him all. Now it's back to our original plan, catching bait for said monster of the deep. Man, that rig looks good. A big swordfish has got to eat that. Center 1,700 feet down. Okay, so I can live with fresh bait, what looks like that. But now, I've got to sit here, wait forever for another shot at this donkey. I think we're tight, guys. I think we got a bite here. It's kind of hard to tell when you're in 1,560 feet, but looks like we saw a little, little tap right on the rod. Hey, you saw that bite? I saw it click twice, and I then didn't I didn't. It. I didn't it was the, the, the most gradual bite. Using an electric reel isn't my first choice when it comes to fishing, but I challenge anyone to go out sword fishing, make multiple drops without breakaway weights, and hand crank all day. You won't last long. <laughs> Ice cold fish and you're bringing them up into the warm water. So when he hits the warm water right here around the thermocline, that's when they're going to start heating up. <laughs> but that's why you use the harpoon, because you usually get one good shot before they freak out. And then, then you might be fighting them for three, four hours. We reel in what we're all hoping is a swordfish. And as we start to see color, the whole mood on the boat changes. All right, Kevin, get ready, baby. They pay the big bucks for it. Deep color. There he is. What a great way to end my adventure in South Florida. I love being around friends, both old and new. And sometimes being patient can lead to new experiences and great rewards. 